just just in. I've just been informed that President John F. Kennedy has been shot through the brain. Oh no! And we didn't even help the Cubans. <laughs> John, tell the one about the missiles again! <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, those Russians tried to bring the missiles up into Cuba, but we didn't have any of it, so they left. <laughs> Makes it that peace doesn't go there. It does the president put the put in! So, how about that space race, huh? Well, after Sputnik, we actually sent a probe up to the moon. But mysteriously, it's been destroyed. Must be aliens! Oh, Nixon, you and your crazy conspiracy theories. No respect for Dick! Dick, wait! What's in that great blue yonder? Been a long time, long journey, realized many things. From my experiences in Russia, I went there and I learned that they sent up two space probes, not just one. There was a Sputnik 2, something more, something better, something greater than mankind. Something big. Bigger than the humans. It's an alien, I think. Sputnik 2, it went up into space with a dog. A mere dog. Came back with nothing. But I don't mean nothing. I mean something. Something big. It's teamed up to take down something bigger than mankind. Something bigger than anyone's ever thought of. America. Anybody? Anybody out there? That's not what your country can do for you. That's what you can do to get me out of these ropes. Mr. President, that's where all the magic happens. If you just want to take a seat right here, I'll explain to you what's been going on in the past couple days. Something big, bigger than you and me, bigger than the United States, 
Bigger than Uncle Sam. That's big, eh? It's ginormous. Ginormous, you say? I do say. But you know what else is ginormous? Do you? I'm sure you've already met Dick Nixon. I told you it was aliens. Hey, Dick. So what's going on here? <sighs> Let me show you. I am most definitely the real President John F. Kennedy. There is no possibility that I could be a fake. So you, Americans, will do exactly as I say. Now, I will see all of you in Dallas, Texas. Someone's impersonating me. We gotta do something about this. Who can do this? Millions! Like you said, this is something big. successfully taken John F. Kennedy's place as president. No one suspects a thing, not even Russia. They don't know I plan to double cross them to start a nuclear war, destroying the whole planet. The mother alien will be very pleased. <laughs> You're right, Lee. This is something big. I told y'all it was something big. Bigger than you and me. Bigger than the great big blue whale. And by the great big blue whale, I mean America. Those aliens, they plan to destroy the whole world. We've got to stop them. Aliens! Let me show you something. This is what I'm going to use to take care of those darn aliens. It's my pride and joy. It's something bigger than you and me. This is my baby right here. This is my gun. Yeah, that's a nice gun there. Check that sucker out. All right, let's get down to business. Something big. Bigger than the humans. Bigger than the United States. Bigger than Uncle Sam. It's a good thing we found that grassy knoll. Sure as hell is. We killed the alien and saved the planet. We accomplished something bigger than ourselves, you know. Just another day in the life of Lee Harvey Oswald. 
and John F. Kennedy. So, what are you gonna do now that you're underground? I think I'm gonna become a dancer. Pay for my brother Bobby. Support him, you know? Sounds like a great way to live if you ask me. I'd give anything for that. What about the uh, presidential situation? How are you gonna handle that? Don't worry, I got someone to fill in just right. Is it me? No, it's me. LBJ, welcome to the big time, brother. <laughs> oh, this is the perfect cover up, boys. Covers more than my grandmother's nightgown. Oh! <laughs>